Hey guys, welcome back to our rivalry series in NCAA Football 2003. Today we've got the Boise State Broncos hosting the Idaho Vandals in the battle for the Governor's Trophy. Idaho holds the series advantage 17-13. There was one tie. In the 2002 real-life game, Boise State won 38-21 in Boise. The Vandals hold the longest streak in this series with 12 wins in a row from 1982 to 1993. The first ever game in the series, Boise State won 42-14. That was in 1971. All of these stats are, of course, leading up to the 2002 game. I'm going to let you guys take a look at the rest of these rosters here, and we'll go down to Boise on the blue turf as the Broncos battle it out with the Idaho Vandals. I'll see you guys down there. between the Idaho Vandals and the Boise State Broncos. And here come the Broncos. Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nessler, along with my co-hosts, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. And we're delighted to bring you what appears to be a heck of a battle between two bitter in-state rivals. The Broncos come out like they're just going to roll over this team. What do you think about that, Herbie? Well, I agree with you. I don't think this one will be close at all. Idaho has spent all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. Well, Lee, in my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's going to have a big day and a big win. Kirk, I agree with you 100%. Boise State is going to go after the defensive front early and just pound them. Kirk, don't be surprised if these guys will run for 400 yards in this football game. Easy win. 
Thanks, guys. Should be an exciting game. Now let's get down to midfield where they're ready for the coin toss. So the guys don't give the Vandals a shot at all in this game as Gerstner takes a nice carry up the middle for nine yards. They really think the Broncos are going to run all over this Idaho Vandal defense. And they don't have a shot as Lindgren throws an interception on the first drive. That is Akko. He returns it past the 50-yard line. First down. Didwitty hands it off to Rock Forsey. Nice spin move, and he puts it on the turf. Tight end Rocky Atkinson dives on it for the Broncos as Dinwiddie looks to throw it here. All day to throw goes over the middle, deflected away. Fourth down, they punt the ball away. Ryan Lindgren hands it off to Gerstner right side and he's got a first down. Hesitates a little bit. Down to the 27 yard line. First down, Idaho. In the I formation, Lindgren option out left side and he pitches it to Gerstner who jukes and fights forward. Another nice pickup. He's got 31 yards on three carries, third and two. Ryan Lindgren up the middle, first down and more. Vandals putting a nice drive together so far on their second attempt. Here Lindgren looking to throw, goes deep right side to the tight end. That is caught by McCoy. Sophomore tight end, Michael McCoy with a nice catch downfield. Second and ten, Ryan Lindgren looking to throw it. He is hit as he throws it and he hits Hunter for a first down. Senior wide receiver Eric Hunter with his first catch of the game, and it's a big one as the Vandals continue to drive here. Lingren dropping back to throw once again over the middle. Hunter once again getting another first down. Three consecutive completions for Brian Lingren as he hands it off up the middle to Shaw, and he picks up another first down for the Vandals. Boise State having a hard time stopping this offense right now as Lingren takes off left side, jukes two guys out, and he is in the end zone. Vandals on top early. 7 to nothing. Let's take another look at this move here. Just put those two defenders on skates. Walk into the end zone. 10 plays, 86-yard drive. Here's Brock Forsey up the middle. Another 7-yard pickup for him. And they're going to triple option right side here. Then when he pitches it, Forsey's got it and almost gets past the defender. Nice gain nonetheless. As Dinwiddie goes play action here on first down, he throws it right side to Swilly. That's a 17-yard pickup and another first down here for the Broncos as they look to get on the board for the first time. Dinwiddie, all day to throw, hits Swilly once again, this time down to the 25-yard line. Broncos now putting together a nice drive. Dinwiddie is sacked this time, big loss. That is junior middle linebacker Jordan Lampos coming up for his first tackle of the game. Dinwiddie pitches it, hits Forsey's helmet, and it is recovered by Kramer for the Vandals. Jordan Kramer, senior left outside linebacker. Nice fumble recovery as Gerstner breaks it out right side past the 40. Gets crushed at the 45-yard line. First down, Vandals. He's up to 52 yards on five carries. And here's Brian Lindgren, and he is sacked. Redshirt sophomore left end, Julius Roberts with the sack. Third and 15 upcoming. Lingering's got to throw it here. And he scrambles right side, and he's got Eric Hunter once again for another big first down for this Vandals offense. They've been putting together some nice drives today so far. Lingering 4 of 8, 61 yards and an interception. As Zach Gerstner breaks another run outside, juking three guys out down to the 32-yard line. He's got 63 yards on six carries. First and 10, Lingren dropping back, and he's going to throw it left side. I believe that is Hunter, and it is down inside the five-yard line. Huge pickup as the Vandals are threatening to score another touchdown here late in the first half as Lingren goes right side to Michael McCoy down to the one-yard line, and Lingren has injured his back on the play. His return is doubtful. Mallet hands it off to Zach Gerstner, and he is in for six. The Vandals are on top. 14 to 0 and Boise State's offense has really struggled so far as Dinwiddie looks to throw it he's scrambling really far right side pulls up and throws it wide open as Rocky Atkinson the tight end he picks up about 20 yards on that completion Dinwiddie's third in a row second and 10 under a minute to go Brock Forsey breaks it out right side past the 30 the 20 the 15 jukes all the way down to the 12 yard line inside the red zone Boise State threatening now, looking to get on the board for the first time today. Dinwiddie looking to throw it once again. Nice pocket, all day to throw. Hits Wingfield and he sprints into the end zone. Touchdown Broncos. They finally get on the board, 14 to seven. As Gerstner takes a carry up the middle, picks up about six. He's got 70 yards on eight carries now. 
Third and four, Mallet looking to throw it. Scrambles up the middle, first down and more. Slides to avoid the hit. And they'll have one more play before the half ends. Let's see if they got any magic in them here to get some more points. Five seconds to go, they're gonna go play action. Mallet pump fakes and chucks it up deep in triple coverage and Eric Hunter comes down with it to the 25 yard line, but that'll end the half. Vandals on top, 14 to seven on the blue turf in Boise. Vandals kick it off deep here. And that is Quentin Michael, the safety. And he's going to return it up to the 19-yard line. And the Broncos offense takes the field once again. Dinwiddie hands it off to Forsey. They like these outside runs with him. And he gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line, breaking a tackle and getting 67 yards so far in the game. As he catches the pitch left side, a lot of guys in front of him. And he somehow picks up six yards on the cutback. Got 73 yards now. Second and four. Dinwiddie looking to throw. Play action here. And he's got Swilly crossing left side. Wide open. Gets the first down and more. Nice eight-yard pickup. Dinwiddie having a decent day as Forsey carries right side. Picks up seven more. Close to breaking that one for six. Second and three. Dinwiddie over the middle. Rocky Atkinson wide open on the quick streak. Three consecutive completions once again for Dinwiddie. And here's a third and eight coming up. And Dinwiddie, play action, pump fakes, throws it. Forcey wide open down to the 13-yard line. First down, Broncos threatening inside the red zone here. And Dinwiddie's going to throw it once again. Right side, Wingfield somehow catches that. Should have been intercepted. That's first and goal now at the two-yard line. And then hand it off to Forcey up the middle, untouched. Boise State has tied it up 14 all. Oh. As Mallet looks to throw for the Vandals. Pulls up. He's got Jelmberg wide open, and it hits him in the face. Incomplete. Vandals punt it away. Bronco is looking to take a lead here as Dinwiddie throws it left side to Rocky Atkinson. Down to the 34-yard line. First down, Broncos. Three consecutive completions again for Ryan Dinwiddie. Unbelievable performance by him. 14 seconds to go in the third. Brock Forsey spins and can't evade the defender. That is senior strong safety Ben Allen with his sixth tackle of the game. First for a loss. That'll end the third quarter. All tied up at 14 apiece. Can the Vandals pull off the upset here on the blue turf as Dinwiddie breaks the sack attempt. Scrambling left side for his life. Being chased and he is finally crushed at the 25 yard line. He has injured his leg on the play and he will not return in this game. So we've got two backup quarterbacks. Leading their teams as Gerstner hurdles two guys and picks up seven more yards. He's up to 78 yards on 10 carries. Unbelievable day for him. And here's Malice scrambling up the middle. Juking, picking up nine yards and a first down for Idaho. Second and 10. Vandals driving again here. He's got Eric Hunter wide open over the middle. First down again. He's having himself a heck of a game. 111 yards on six receptions. 18.5 yard average. Unbelievable day for the senior wide receiver. Sophomore Adam Mallett looking to throw it here. Pump fakes, throws it over the middle to Josh Jelmberg, senior wide receiver. Nice catch in triple coverage. First and 10 now. Mallett, Mallett looking to throw once again. He goes left side. I believe that's Hunter once again inside the five yard line, but there is a flag. And that is holding on Scott. That'll back him up to the 33 yard line. First and 20. Zach Gerstner left side. He picks up seven or eight yards. Up to 86 now in the game. Second and 12. Mallet pump fakes, and he is sacked. That is senior outside linebacker Chris Foster getting Boise State's second sack of the game. Third and 17. Mallet pump fakes. Nice pocket. Throws it deep right side and double coverage. And Michael McCoy, my goodness, he comes down with it inside the 10-yard line. First and goal for the Vandals. McCoy has three catches today. And he's got his fourth, and he walks into the end zone, taking the lead for the Vandals late in this game. Just over a minute to go. Vandals on top as Road goes down. He is sacked hard. Nice five-yard loss. Third and 15. Now Road looking to throw. He is crushed once again and deflected away. Fourth and 15 upcoming. Jordan Kramer gets player of the game. One fumble recovered on one forced fumble and two tackles. Fourth and 15. Road. Pump fakes, nice pocket, throws it over the middle, and it is caught by Rocky Atkinson for 17-yard pickup and a first down. Second and 10, 
20 seconds to go. Road scrambling right side, trying to make something happen. Throws it out in double coverage, incomplete. Overthrows his intended target. Road does not have the best accuracy in the world as he goes right side once again. That is Brock Forsey out of the backfield, down to the 31 yard line. Eight seconds left, they call a timeout. Huge play for the Broncos as the running back comes up clutch. First and 10, Road. Pump fakes, throws it deep in the end zone. Brock Forsey's got it, and he drops the touchdown that would have tied this game up. And that is a huge drop, and he knows it. And there's only time for one more play. Road looking to throw, goes deep again, does not throw it far enough. Forsey is taken down before the end zone. The Idaho Vandals come away with the upset victory in Boise, 21 to 14. Unbelievable game. The Vandals prove their doubters wrong today as they stop the Broncos on the last play of the game for the win. Backup senior quarterback B.J. Rowe did not have the arm for that Hail Mary pass. Unfortunately for the Broncos, they lose a tough one to their rival. And what a game it was. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this game. Very close in terms of yardage. Neither team went over 300 yards today. Boise State sacked three times. Dinwiddie was having a heck of a game until he went down with the injury to force the backup quarterback into the game. And you got to think, if he stays in there, they might complete that final drive and tie this game up. Chris Carr led the Broncos with four tackles today. John Siaco with that interception. Adam Mallett came in for the injured Brian Lindgren, and he had a decent game. Zach Gerstner, 86 yards on the ground for the Vandals. Eric Hunter, senior receiver, 111 yards. Unbelievable day for him. Michael McCoy with the touchdown catch. A lot of tackles for a loss. A lot of sacks in this game. Five total sacks. Great game by the Idaho Vandals to pull off the upset. And they shut out the Broncos in the first and fourth quarter. And our next rivalry matchup in this series will be the Holy War as the Utah Utes travel to Provo, Utah to take on the BYU Cougars. And that's going to be another exciting game. we got freshman quarterback Alex Smith for Utah stepping in there for his first career start. And BYU also starts a freshman quarterback. Ben Olsen will get the nod. So we got freshman versus freshman in this head-to-head -head matchup. Keep the requests coming, guys, because this series has been a lot of fun playing with different teams, seeing a lot of familiar faces. But I'll see you guys next time in Provo, Utah. Take it easy.